So here come the Vikings. With three wide receivers. Asante Shanko the tight end. And Chester Taylor. Like that Adrian Peterson in the backfield. Everybody out. Favre throws and completes it. To Shanko the tight end at the 31 yard line. Clock running. And the Vikings can't stop it. From the 32. Favre feels some pressure outside Sidney Rice with a grab and out of bounds at the 41 yard line. It's short of a first down but a good pick up and it stops the clock with 105 and if the 49ers are going to give that big cushion which you call free access to the wide receivers which means defensively not a lot of not a lot of pressure on the wide receivers they're getting in the back pedal and leaving a big cushion Red Favre will hit those eight nine ten yard out routes down the sideline all day. Again they stick with three wide receivers and Adrian Peterson. Everybody out. Far. He had a wide open man but he missed Vicente Shanko. 49ers playing the safeties way back. In deep coverage. Mark Roman stepped up and had a shot at it. Interesting because I think one trend in the league this year is Teams are not playing prevent defense. They're still heating up the quarterbacks and trying to get to them. Not in this game as Ray McDonald gets a nice hit there on far, but here late, just this drive, it has been prevent defense. San Francisco not wanting to make a big mistake, keeping everything in front of them and rallying up to make the tackle. This is third and one. With a minute to go. Far looking to find someone short. And that's Percy Harvin. It's that's a, a rookie down. mistake. Percy Harvin, I know it's a first down, but you got to turn and try to get to the sideline. Harvin with his speed looking to make a play. Favre wants to get everybody set and spike it, and he does. And the clock stops with 40 seconds. And the Vikings still 54 yards away. Brad Childress. Defensive man Mike Singletary and Greg Minuski is coordinator. 49ers have played well defensively this season. Second and ten. Three man rush. Farb has time. He's going deep. Way downfield for Sidney Rice. He's out of bounds. He caught it, but he was out of bounds. They gave him plenty of room. And now 33 seconds remaining. Brett Favre has done a nice job, albeit he's, he's had some pressure in his face, but he's done a nice job of getting the ball down the field today. Coming in, it was all underneath passing game in the first two weeks. Not a whole bunch of opportunities to hit a big strike, but when he's had them, he's taken advantage of them. Vikings with three wide outs. Adrian Peterson with great speed. Everybody out. Favre throws back over the middle and completes it to Percy Harvin. He's got a first down. Got to clock it again. Clock running with 20 seconds. They've got to get lined up and spike it. Time more important than downs. Got to clock it. And they stop the clock with 16 seconds. And the Vikings are 39 yards away. 4.49ers lead. Early in the game, it looked like Minnesota would blow out the 49ers. First four times San Francisco had the ball, they went three and out. And things turn. Sean Hill made a couple of big plays, converted a fourth and one. And a big field goal block for the 49ers. Turned into a touchdown. Chester Taylor in the backfield, quickly outside Bernard Berry. Trying to get to the sideline, he does. Gets out of bounds at the 32. Short of a first down, 12 seconds remaining, 32 yards away. Four wide receivers come on for the Vikings. Don't forget, coming up next, it's the AT&T postgame show with scores, highlights, and a lot more.
This has been a battle, hasn't it? This game has certainly lived up to the hype here in Minnesota today. Greg Lewis in as the fourth wide receiver. Chester Taylor in the backfield. Everybody out. Far rolls. Watch the throw deep and does to the end zone for Greg Lewis. Touchdown! Touchdown! Far did it! This will be reviewed upstairs, but the ruling on the field is Greg Lewis came down, both feet in, and held on to the football. What a play by Brett Favre. By in time, delivers this ball. Let's watch the end line. Left foot right inside the line. He did drag his toe. Did you see the little rubber, part rubber particles bounce up off the field turf? This is going to be a touchdown. I mean, look at that throw. Left foot down. Now watch the right toe drag right there. That's a touchdown. Oh my goodness. That's why you get Brett Favre on your football team. What a play by the quarterback. And, and again, a terrific catch. And Greg Lewis in the game. They had an injury to Greg uh, to Renaud. Greg Lewis gets out there and comes up with the play of the game. But you have a quarterback that's almost 40 years old extending plays and throwing a perfect perfect pass for the win 80 yards with no timeouts and did he gun that last one and Greg Lewis who was came on as the fourth wide receiver has played very little in the game goes up and makes a fantastic catch that's why you get veterans like Greg Lewis on your football team when you got to get him in the game because of an injury they know what to do in the big spots the all star look at his back. feet look at his feet left foot just inside drags the right toe. Oh man you feel so bad for San Francisco because the effort they put up you got to wonder did he have full control now all the way past the ground. I think that's the next thing that they're looking at upstairs. Brett Favre hitting Greg Lewis in a dramatic, stunning play with two seconds remaining in the game. And right now being reviewed by the officials upstairs. And being sent down with the referee, Jerome Boger, having looked at it. Under the hood downstairs. Sam, There's the, the official were announcement. After reviewing the play, the rule on the field stands. Touchdown. Boy, what a game. What a game. the first 300 yard passing game in the last 64 games for the Vikings dating back to you think it's important to him? look at this he's been doing that taking hits all day and just extends the play with his 40 year old legs and throws what's going to look like the game winner 24 for 46 301 yards you think it's important to him. Mike Singletary he'll take the positives out of this game but what a stunning turn of events. And the packed house here in the Metrodome just going wild. Ten plays 80 yards in a minute 27 with no timeouts and a 32 yard touchdown pass to Greg Lewis. To win it. For the Minnesota Vikings. Two seconds remaining on the clock. All the years he came in here as a visiting quarterback, 16 for the games with the Packers, 
And in his first home game with the Vikings. Are you kidding me? His what first a... home game, one for the ages, that final drive and that final throw. Here's the short pooch kick by Longwell. Fair catch called for. 49ers will get one play. They'll have one play. Can Sean Hill perform a miracle? He's got one play to do it. Well, get ready for the hook and lateral because clearly where they are, he can't throw the Hail Mary deep into the end zone. They're going to have to get a little razzle dazzle pitching the ball backwards here, I think. Vikings have two players 60 yards back. The Vikings with a 27 to 24 lead. And here's the last play. Two safeties are backed up to their own 20 yard line for the Vikings. Hill being rushed gets it off for Vernon Davis and he dropped it and the game is over Vikings win it they're three and oh the Minnesota Vikings with a last-second comeback touchdown pass, defeat the four.